Yeah. Hey, Black Rain. Hey, Black Rain. Uh, lean, lean, and stick don't stop. Black Rain, skill time, cause the gun won't pop. Mass pain, stop once and your man gon' stop. Black Rain, stop twice and they all gon' flop. Tryna play for a dub, but I don't even need it. You catch on me 50, you sound conceited. I still done so bad that he think that I cheated. You said you was pro when I win, you deleted. My diamonds, they rain on me, I'm undefeated. The top of 100, I don't even read it. My rank, you won't beat it, don't make me repeat it. RGA, the squad, man, don't get them boys either. All right, man. <laughs> we got the warden. Round three. Players lounge tournament. Man, this shit has been stressful. But shout out to players lounge, man, for allowing me to join these these tournaments and represent the brand, man. You guys can join too. I would love for you guys to join these tournaments, bro. I would love for it. I would love for you guys to. So click the link down below in the comment section. Click the link down below in the description and join the same tournaments I'm in, bro. You guys can play against some of these sweaty players. I'm saying if you want to test yourself and see if you got the skill level it takes to compete versus the very, very best. And I don't need to keep talking about it down below in the comment section, bro. Oh, I could do that. Or oh, I would have did that. Show me. You see me? Get in here and show me. That's all you got to do, bro. Ain't no need you typing down below. I see you typing right now. I could have. I don't want to hear. I don't want to read that. I want to see it. Jump into the tournaments. And lock in. It's that simple, bro. I don't want to hear what you could have did, should have did, would have did, what your granny would have done if she was playing Madden. Nah, show me what you gonna do. Load up, sign into the same tournament I'm signed into, and try to win some cash, man. It ain't like we playing for free. We trying to win that bag. Five hundred dollars, thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, man. Jump in and let's get it going. You see, Blitzen that got off the edge is the question. Okay, don't look like it. Okay, let's see exactly what he's in. Let's get into a little bunch real quick. Let's get into a little bunch real quick. Off the tip, of course. He's running the dollar. Uh, why do I always start the game off with an interception, bro? Always. He's running the dollar shit, bro. The the dollar glitch shit. Where that middle linebacker is going to shoot straight through the gap every single time. Uh, of course he is. Of course he is. That's all you see in the tournament, bro. You're going to see... Gunbun strong offset, and you're going to see 6 1. That's all you're going to see. RPO, nice. This is really all you're going to see. And if you're not used to seeing it, if you're not used to playing against it, if you're not used to seeing it, not used to playing against it, then you're in trouble pretty much. If you're not used to seeing this shit, good luck to you. Good luck to you. Nice run commit. Come on, what you got for me? Nice run commit. We need a stop right here. We got to get a stop right here. Come on, I'm out here. I'm out here. Make a tackle. I'm out here. Make a tackle. I'm out here. Fuck, we needed that. Okay, man. I hate this. I hate this fucking this 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 defense. Cause you're only rushing three, but essentially you're rushing four with that guy up the middle right there. Nice block. Break that. Oh, we need to break that. Okay, so he blocked him. What is he? What is that corner actually in over there? Okay. Okay. Mike that side over there. <clears throat> I 
I tried to play make a triangle up the field, but he just sat there really. Try to playmaker up playmaker him up the field. Um should have had a corner route on his right side. If he's in a deep. Oh, what he got deep outside zone KO. He gotta have it. Cause he turned around on that fast as fuck. He gotta have deep outside zone KO. Deep out zone KO and deep out zone KO. Makes sense. Abilities be, I ain't gonna say abilities be saving a lot of people, but that's a nasty ability to have right there. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, I can't, I don't know what to do versus this. I don't want to go five wide because we're going to get straight gap shot right there. I struggle with this. Especially with two outside zone KOs. I mean, I got I got the corner route open. I got the corner route that I can throw. But the as we see with two deep outside zone KOs, soon as you throw it, the corner going to snap on it. He, the corner can be way down the field going to go route. As soon as you release the ball, he going to snap on it. It just it just a... With this scheme, it's a great ability to have on, on your corners. Which is, whereas in rigs, you don't have to worry about that. You don't, There is no two corners with deep outside zone KO on the same team. So it's like, this is a perfect scheme for Mutt. This is a perfect scheme for Mutt. You got the gap shoot by the linebacker. <clears throat> you got the gap shoot by the linebacker, and then you got the... And then you got the, the two corners. It's just great. Oh, what was I doing versus dude last time who was doing this shit? I think I remember. Oh, he's bringing that. He's bringing that safety down. He's bringing that safety down. Uh, <clears throat> that is just shitty of me. That is shitty. Oh, that's so shitty. I'm trying to think, bro. I'm trying to think. Nothing. I, I want to go five wide, but I know we're gonna get just straight gap shot. And just nothing's ringing a bell for me right now. Nothing is ringing a bell for me right now. Good defense. Good defense, man. Good defense. See, this is what I call a real defense. Like, this shit that he running, boy. He got a instant gap shoot with. He got some shit over there. No, sir. No, sir. No fucking. Oh, my God. What's up with you, cuz? What is up with you, cuz? Oh, man. We needed that. Straight up the seam. Doop. Yeah, smart. Oh, man. I got to try five wide, bro. Got to try five wide. That's what I got to do. I got to lab up versus that defense. I got to lab up versus it. The corner out is the way to go. It is, bro. It is. But with two deep outside zone KOs, you can't throw it. Then he's scooting the safety down to kind of like play the middle. And he's using in the middle. He got two flats on five. The corners are pretty much playing deep and playing everything past five yards with the corners playing over there. That's what makes it hard. So he's putting a, he putting flats on zero. I mean, flat. Flats on five. He's guarding the middle. It makes sense what he's doing. Like that left linebacker. He's just going. Wow. So five wide should have. I mean, 
a mic in a corner over there, and, and we're getting it blocked up. It's just five out where I should have been in. It's just tough because I can't throw it. I feel like I can't throw it to like the corners of the. I can't throw it to the corners of the uh, of the of the defense. Did y'all see that corner? As soon as I released the ball, did y'all see that corner turn around? As soon as I released the ball, I was throwing it to X. It was picked off for sure. That corner was, yeah, he was like, yeah, that's me. Throwing it to the cross. I ain't got shit, bro. I really don't have nothing. He's playing a match zone back there, too, and they definitely matching. They definitely matching. They definitely matching. Wow. Okay. 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 Let's see something. Okay, let's see something. So he bring guys from the outside now so I can step up in the pocket a little bit. Oh, that's horrible. Deep outside zone KO. That's horrible. That's horrible. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with Prize Picks, including Famous Lowe's, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, Prize Picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. So check this out. After I played, dude, I'm like, yo, let me go see, like, let me do some research on what was happening. Right? Like, I kind of know what defense he was in, but let me just see. So I went and I looked and I see he was streaming. So I'm like, okay. So I dived in the stream late, right? So it made me continue watching it. Now he's the, the he's the Redskins, you know what I'm saying? He's playing against the Panthers. Now what made me continue watching it is as I continue watching it, I see this dude on defense is actually in um in trips as well. So I'm like, okay, let me figure out, you know what I'm saying, if he got some dots for, you know what I'm saying, for for this defense or not, because he in trips. But he got seven points on the board. I'm like, okay, so he must have scored on offense. But what happened was this dude threw a pick six. You know what I'm saying? So he actually hadn't scored on offense, and it's the second quarter. So I really was, like, watching this, like, really trying to learn. You feel me? Like, let me figure out exactly what this dude is running on defense. Cause, uh, uh, because he got a box for trips. He, he did me something crazy, but I figured out what he's doing. Right? So when you think about it, he's in cover two. But, and I'm going to show you guys, he has a deep, he, he's, he's, he's coming out in cover two, but he's switching his defense to straight cover four, but he has no flat players, he just got hooks out there. So it's it's a fourth, safety's in the fourth, he's in the fourth, corner's in the fourth. This slot guy is in a hook straight back, this slot guy is in a hook straight back, and the linebacker's in a hook straight back while this guy blitz through the gap, Right? So there's no flat players because you don't need flat players when you have deep out zone, uh, deep outside KO on your corners. You feel me? And in trips, 
it just it just it just a box, bro. When you see the defense and understand what's going on, you guys understand like okay, it's definitely like ability based kinda. You know what I'm saying? So let's get to the defense really so we can see exactly what's going on. So dude come out on the kickoff return right here and get a strip, which is crazy. He like, yeah, let me get that. I'm like, damn. I'm like, that was that's rough, man. That's rough. So he come out right here, uh, tight. Just got two verticals and two corner off. Now look at this. He is hot on defense. He's hot and he's hot. Right? He's playing man to man. This guy come down, like he's playing perfect man to man. This guy come down and jam. He's hot and still get fried. Bro, I just couldn't imagine my guy being hot like that. My guy being hot like that and just getting fried. I couldn't imagine it, but you know what I'm saying? It's Madden. So take a look at the defense, man. You guys can't see because his face cams in a way, but he's coming out and just straight up cover two. This guy is in gun trips. Now look at the defense, right? He's putting all the guys in D4. This is the defense. D4, D4, um, deep half, D4. Hook, he's in the middle playing this with a hook, and this guy's blitzing straight through. That's the defense that he was running on me, too. And because this guy's playing like a five-yard hook, so he's right here. He's going to alert to anything to the flat, flat, flat immediately, and anything past the this 10 yards right here, this guy's deep outside zone KO activates. So anything past right here, he's going to snap back down on. So you don't really need a flat, really. So take a look. At, now he put a purple over there. Um, he, he's going to send these two guys off the outside right here. Going to sit in that gap. Send these guys off the, off the edge right there. And look at this guy. Just comes free. Just comes through free. It's a box. Now, one thing I do want you guys to take a look at is this left side over here. So take a look at this left side. Look at this corner, right? Look at this guy. He's playing the flat right there. You see the corner out right here, and this is what he's throwing the ball to. But watch this cornerback as soon as he throws this ball. Watch the cornerback. When he released the ball, he turned around immediately because that's a deep outside zone KO. If that ball would have got there, that's picked off. That's picked off. If, the, if that ball gets there, that's picked off. You know what I'm saying? So it's a defense that really don't make sense. But it, but it works. Scoot him over right there. D fourth over there. Scream that once again. Just got blitzed off the edge. Just got blitzed off the edge. And he's only sending one, two, three, four, five. He's only sending five people. Um, dude is blocking six. Sent five. Dude is blocking six. He screamed that off the edge. And he missed a block. There ain't much you can do. What what ain't shit open right now? Look at this. Ain't shit open. Dude got the ultimate box for trips, man. Ultimate box. Ultimate box for trips. Close the D line. Um now he's in something else, but take a now he's in a, a crazy defense right here. He's deep outside zone with a vert hook. He's manned up here. Um these two guys manned up. Now he's getting into some adjustments, right? Running back is open because he manned up the, the corner on him. Nice. You feel me? Nice. Nice read right there by uh, Refund Academy. What's funny is, um, I'm going to spoil it, but I end up playing Refund Academy in a couple of days. You guys will see that video too. I end up matching up versus him in a tournament and playing him as well. But look at the defense. He got he got consistent defense for, for uh, trips. One, two, three, four, five guys he sent. Six guys blocking once again. Disengage. Once again, one, two, three, four, five. He was check blocking right there, so he don't block him. Disengage up the middle. You're getting here and here off the outside. And if you roll out to the right, he's going to... Shit's crazy, bro. Shit is crazy. Just by closing the D-line. And just... I don't know, bro. Smackdown right there. It's just <laughs> guy got a trips box, bro. Guy got a box of trips. Third and 18 right here. Um, take a look. Now he got a hard flat over there. He does a great job of mixing up his adjustments. Hard flat, vert hook, vert hook, vert hook. Um, no flat on the right side. Because look at this guy. 
he plays a vert hook like it's man to man. Look at him. He's playing that shit like it's man to man. Now, now look at him over here on the flat. That's crazy. The vert hook played the running back like it was man to man, then passed him on to this corner right here, who has deep outside zone KO. And now look at him in the flat right here. Look at these guys matching there. He's matching there. What's open? Finally gets shedded. Nothing's open. Like, take a look at this in fast motion. Look at this. Bam. Vert hook. Match the running back. Now I'm gonna play this right there. He matched there. He got his cross right there, but the corner's in the deep outside zone KO. So if he throw it to that cross right there, the corner's gonna come down real quick and play that. Dude has dude has great adjustments, man, for trips. Now, this right here surprised me out of anything, because this is not something that I would see. He's in a deep zone back here, right? He's in a deep fourth zone. With deep outside zone KO. Deep outside zone KO. He picked up the blitz right here. Now look at the read, bro. He throws this back here and it gets caught behind a deep outside zone KO. Now another thing that's bad about this, another thing that's bad, is the simple fact that when he throws this, they let they make him click on him. If that's me, I would want to click on this guy right here because he can probably pick that ball off. Now the computer, I don't know why the computer didn't jump with deep outside zone KO, but Computer didn't jump, and that's a crazy. I know, bro. That shit's crazy. Shit's crazy. This guy right here gets into a fourth and fourteen situation, and look at the shit he throw. Fourth and fourteen, he got two verticals with a corner out and a fucking fifteen yard stop route. Fifteen yard stop route. I don't know how he got that guy to to was over here and run across here to pick him up, but that's amazing. Throws a 15 yard stop route right there, bro. Missed the tackle. Two fourth down completions that that just went bonkers right there. Two fourth down completions that just went bonkers. This is Madden, bro. This is Madden. A fourth and 18 and a fourth and 14. This is Madden. Now what I did notice is this guy does a great job of changing his uh zone drops and things like that. I don't know if he's on match or what. We gotta be matching. But these two guys are blitzing off the edge right here. Hit him in the seam right there. Great read. Great quick read right there. Excuse me. That was an amazing quick read. Now look. Scream that. No, the great read. I feel like I need a... I feel like Joe Montana is just not it. Because he has no speed. Joe's 90, Joe is 77 speed. Joe's not getting away from this right there. That was a great read. To complete a pass versus the defense and trips, you got to do some crazy shit. Roll out the pocket like that or throw a, a cross or post way back here. Great down the middle of the field. That's a great read. Refund Academy is a dot of a player. And when we play, you guys will see that as well. It's going to be trips on trips. Um, now he made up those two guys in the slot. Throw it to the running back. You know what I'm saying? Um, this dollar defense can be just aggravating as hell, man. And then when you're playing with two versus people like Refund Academy or playing versus people like me who don't really care to run the ball, this is what, you know what I'm saying, this is what it looked like. Trying to find an adjustment, trying to find a, a read, trying to find while he's sending off the edge and up the middle, just sending crazy shit. Right there. I know he was trying to pick that off so bad. He was trying to click on and pick that off. They just go to show like the different levels. I want you guys to see some of these adjustment, adjustments. They just go to show the different levels that some people are on in this damn game, bro. Deep outside zone KO, and that should have been picked off. Right. You don't work your way all the way down the field, and that right there should have been picked off. You got your deep outside zone KO by the corner. You see how fast he activate to it. He knock it out. And that right there should have been a pick to Night Train Lane, who I'm pretty sure got pick artists. I know. I would have did the same shit, bro. I know. I know. I know, bro. Trust me. I know. You feel me? Right here, he don't bless nobody at all. That's a box, bro. He only sent three. Now he sent the fourth. Um, rolling out right here with Troy Aikman. And that right there was going to be a dot in the back of the end zone. That was going to be a dot. Just didn't get the ball out fast enough. There you go once again. Changing the zone drops and things like that. Um, and this comes from this comes from practice, man. This comes from playing these guys consistently. You know what I'm saying? This guy here plays in these players' lounge tournaments consistently versus the best of the best. 
every single day, day in and day out. And this is, you know what I'm saying, the results you get when you play versus guys like that. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you play versus guys that's consistent in these tournaments, you're going to deal with straight-up sweats. Now, I don't think nothing was really open right there. Maybe the flat right here, maybe this drag, but that just wasn't the read. That wasn't the read. Now, dude messed up right here by running this ball right here. Um, you know what I'm saying? Great gap shoot and ended up getting a safety. So, that was best-case scenario for him because now he got two points and he got a chance to tie this game up, you feel me, with a touchdown and a, and a, uh, a two-point conversion. So, now this game just got that much closer. Bring the safeties down. Um, send those two off the edge. Hit him right there in the gap. Um, that's a great read. Um, he just he's waiting to see if they got blitz or not, and then he's split second seeing if he's manned up or not. And if he's not, that's why that guy's bringing that safety down right there. Um, but now he ended up manning those two guys up in the slot, and he threw a pick right to the running back. I mean, right to the uh, linebacker who he was guarding. You feel me? He did a great job right there of manning up him right there, manning up him right there. He has a deep zone right there. Um, and now he just got to worry about these two guys right here. So we take a look at it. He's not worried about the corner route because he's going straight to the deep outside zone KO. These three guys are matched up. He's sending one, two, three, four, five, who's been shedding all game pretty much. But he had time in the pocket right there. It's an empty pocket, and he just forced it, really. You know what I'm saying? He just forced it. But you can't throw it here because the corner's there. I mean, you can't throw none of this shit, but he just he just forced it right there. It's a great user. You know what I'm saying? So this is just dollar. I'm seeing a dollar is just a tough offense. Uh, dollar's a, a tough defense to run. Um, trips on is tough when you got an opponent like this who's throwing out a bunch of different adjustments and then when you got you know what I'm saying offense not block offense line not blocking and he got a middle gap shoot he got edge pressure this is a great defensive player honestly and then this is the type of shit that pisses me off 1000% about Madden deep outside zone KO right deep outside zone KO have him in a deep zone he's in a deep zone He's in a deep zone, and look what he throw. Throw the outside go route, and gets dunked on. And he he clipped that like, yo, this is this is bad. That's the inconsistency of Madden. Your deep outside zone has been going bonkers all game. Like just been like just playing great versus me playing great, and then you throw up a go route to a receiver who has no ability. And then he lights up and activates. Like, he activated. That means, like, okay, deep outside zone KO. This should be a knockout. And you get dunked on, bro. That makes no. That makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. You know what I'm saying? Zero sense. Nice read right there. Definitely a nice read. I would be aggravated as hell. Y'all know me. I get pissed off. Like, what the fuck do I got a deep outside zone KO for then? If that's what he going, that, if that's what he going to do. Look at the defense right there. Oh my goodness. Look at the box, bro. Look at the. And then he threw that right to the back of the end zone. I didn't. I didn't see that. I. I didn't see that. Look at him back here. He's running this way. Then he comes. What route is he running back there? Please, somebody tell me what route is this? It's this guy right here. Look at this guy. Watch the route. Bam. Goes back out. Then comes back in. And he sees him. And I think he threw a high ball too. Like what? What a ball. What a what a ball. He only has one timeout left right here. And uh I mean he had three timeouts. He got three timeouts. But you know, that run right there would have would have did it for me. That was, I was like, alright, that right that run right there put him in field goal range. Um, to make it a two possession game and dude just quit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely understand it, but man, dude got a hell of a defense. You know what I'm saying? Hell of a box with trips. But um, Refund Academy put up a, a decent fight as well. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to both of those guys. Hey, Blair Wayne. Oh, yeah.